Welcome to the witch house. Pull up a chair, have a sit, and let's chat. And I have a new deck. And for once, it's not a Kickstarter. <laughs> I actually found this in um, a local metaphysical shop here. Um, one that I hadn't been to before. And so it is the Chakra Healing Deck. And it's by Sage Goddess and personal affirmations for aligned wellness and so i'm very excited because this is you know i have almost every chakra deck that is available and this one i had not seen so i'll show you the back it says you know it's in a great box um it's got magnetic closure to it so where sacred beauty meets divine power. And the book is on top. And then, ooh, we have the cards. All right. Nothing in the bottom, just blank box. Okay. So, pretty meaty, you know, little chunky guidebook here. So let's see if it's all in, yep, all in English. It has, um... 63 pages with a, a few pages in the end for notes, which I don't know anybody who uses those for notes, but um, so welcome to the world of chakra healing, new oracle deck protocol. So I guess she tells you what you can do, an overview of the nine chakras. Ah, so they're including, she's including the um, earth star and uh, sun star chakras, that's great, or soul star. I always call it a sun star. That, I don't know, seems better for me <laughs> for some reason. It's a soul star. I always get that one wrong. Okay, so then it's got um, the cards and their meanings. And there's about a half a page Here's about half a page. If you have eye issues, yeah, you're going to need a magnifying glass to see this. So there's about a half a page per um, per card. And so it, it tells you what the card means. And then it has ask yourself. So it has questions to ask yourself around that card. I like it. I like it. Okay, any spreads in here? No, it doesn't appear there are any spreads. So, let's see. Does it say anything about using them? Um, overview of the chakras. No, really, it doesn't say, doesn't really say anything other than the back of the box, it does say, uh, pull a card each day to guide your daily practice at each new moon to guide your lunar cycle intentions or use them to channel messages for others. So um, I guess that's the only thing that's, that's there. So, all right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So here is the back of the deck, ooh, which I really like. I really like the um, how they did the coloration from, you know, the uh, Soul Star up. So that's awesome. Oh, and of course, and they put the illustrator's name all the way down in teeny tiny letters at the bottom here. I don't know if the illustrator. Oh, it is. It's on the front, but again. Teeny tiny letters, but the illustrator is Roberta Orpwood is the illustrator. Okay, so they are silver gilded. Ooh, I like that. I love. I prefer silver over gold gilding. That's just because I'm not a gold person. I'm a silver person. Um, so, all right, let's let's get with the cards here so it looks like um ah okay so there are no there are no pictures it's all words it's all words 
So, gives you the card, the chakra, crystal, and an herb. So that's pretty cool. Ancestral wisdom. Sacral, sacred gratitude. Divine alignment. Grounded harmony. No, I'm not going to hold these so you can read them. So, <laughs> you might want to just, you know, I don't know, stop. I don't know how many cards are in the deck, so let's see. Um, I'm imagining, okay, well, we're starting now. Card number seven is the root chakra by the color. I was going to say the earth chakras are brown in color. Yeah, they're color-coded apparently here. So, uh... My mouth sucks, but seven by nine is going to give you how many cards <laughs> are in here. So, <laughs> uh, let go. Inner well. No worries. I need this one. <laughs> A lot of people I know need this one. Steady strength. Crystal kingdom out. Okay, so that was not seven cards. That was six cards. So it looks like each chakra has six. Three. One, two, three. Yes. All right, so it looks like Soul Star. Wait a minute. Let me go back here. All right, so it's six. <coughs> each chakra has six cards. There you go. So I think that's 52 cards all. My math sucks, people. Um, all right. So we are up to sacral, trust, and surrender. Unbridled passion. I love how each card gives you the chakra, a crystal, and an herb. That's perfect. That's a great combination to have. Plus, a little something-something about, um, you know, the title, like Solar Power. Look to the sun. Empowered Oneness. Solar Plexus is your, your power center. That's where you get your, your confidence from, your, you know, Self-trust, great card. Now we're going into the heart chakra. Tenderness, wholeness, acceptance. These are, these are great words. Love connection, self-care. Oh. oh yeah, these are, these are, I can't wait to use these. These are going to be fantastic. Okay, now throat chakra. Expression. Receptivity. Flowing truth. Higher consciousness. Be heard and seen. Wow. Okay, so now we're up to the third eye. Enhanced perception. Visioning. Wow. Oh, I'm going to enjoy using these cards. I'm going to enjoy using these very much. I can already tell. I can't wait to, to start. The card stock is good, too. Um, it's, you know, it's a little, you can see it's a little glossy, but it's not overly glossy. Oop. Have I entered into? I have. No, I haven't. <laughs> or have I? Wait a second. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Now I'm starting on the crown chakra. The only thing I can see with this is that the last three are very close in color. So 
this is the, wait a minute. Did I get them out of order here? <laughs> okay. So this is the third eye chakra. This is the crown chakra. And then this is the soul star. So the they're very close in coloration. That's why I wasn't sure if I had it right or not. And I do. So <coughs> we are at the... Um, Oops. Here we go. Third eye. <laughs> Divine wisdom. Spirit team. Sacred serenity. Initiation. Okay. And then our last one is the soul star. The soul star is located like six inches above your head. It's, it's one step closer. So, um, divine service. Transformation. Personal frequency. Wow. Oh, I like the key words on this card. Let's give them a shuffle. Here. Um, oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Side shuffle. The way I like to shuffle. I can't do... Um, my hands are too small for end to end. So I corner shuffle like Ethany. So, oh yeah, these are beautiful shufflers. They are, they are quite bendy and, and flexible. Um, they also overhand shuffle pretty good too. They're slidey, but not too slidey. So let's see, I'm going to pull a card for the collective today. How are we all feeling today? What? What chakra should we focus on? What chakra do we need to focus on? Let's see. What chakra do we need to focus on? What chakra? Okay. And one more riffle for good measure here. Okay. Let's see. What do we got? We have... Wow. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Look what I got. Soulmate presence. Soulmate presence presence. This is a heart chakra and it's, uh, wow. <laughs> okay. So it reads, there is a soulmate presence around you now, either in human or spirit form. You may have noticed more synchronicities recently, or you'll begin to notice them soon. This presence is one that knows and loves you and is coming forward to help you heal some part of a broken heart. Let the light of this presence move into the cracks and tender places in your heart that need mending. Your heart is ready to be whole once again. Jeez. Wow. Okay. Now, another card fell out of the deck while I was shuffling. And normally, I don't read those. But, I always look at them. I can't make, you can't make this shit up. You really can't make this shit up. It's another card from the, uh, from the heart chakra. Well, before I do that, I'm going to hold this one up. So if you want to stop so you can actually read the card and see the, um, the crystal and herb 
And it's so funny it says Rose because Friday night I went to a theater show and one of my friends was there and I don't know if I can reach it. Ah. And he brought me roses for my birthday. So, <laughs> oh gosh, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to hold this up for wholeness. So you can get a look at that. Hawthorne berries. Crystal is... Oh, manganel calcite. All right, so it says, You have within you the power to heal all that is in need of your love, including yourself. Open up to the vastness of your heart and allow its purifying presence to wash over you in waves of self-acceptance and graceful allowing. From this space of whole soul fulfillment and nourishment, you will be able to give and receive abundantly. You are the forests and the oceans, the earth and the sky. Honoring your wholeness is your path to wellness. <coughs> Can you say mind blown? Wow. What a reading right out of the chute. Well, I don't know if this was mostly for me or for you, but, um, wow, that's all I can say really is wow. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, I think I'll be using this deck every day in September and, uh, see what happens. So anyway, sending you all so much chakra love and I'll see you on the next one.